Several technicians and special effects designers have been working for months to provide a big surprise for the Queen today. It's a nerve-wracking moment for all concerned. As soon as the smoke had cleared, the Queen went to meet the actors involved in the stunt. It's been a blast. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's really exciting. A little bit windy. It's great. What was this bang all about? I mean, just, just a bit of fun or what? Well, it's happened before. My post office, my post office. But um, it's just to show a stunt. And what a stunt that was. And she was a bit jealous about being, not being the biggest winds that you see in, uh, in Emmerdale. Do you mean the biggest? Well, you know, the uh, <laughs> most <laughs> famous winds in Emmerdale. <laughs> Have you met royalty before? Um, her sister, Princess mm. Margaret, mm. a long time ago. I met William and Harry about five or six oh, years ago. Oh, did you? Ago. You never told me. Yeah. Oh, lovely. They, oh, they rolled with laughter at one of my gags. <laughs> you can't retell really it, can you? No, I can't really, know. <laughs> Stan Richards is another long-serving cast member happy to be part of today's celebrations. Stan, a great day for Amadale. Yeah, it is. Is it the first royal visit you've had? I mean, you've been here a few years, haven't you? 24 above. First straw visit we've had, as far as I'm aware, in my time anyway. Are you a fan? <coughs> of what, the programme? <laughs> the visitor. Well, I used to a charming lady. So, this is our guest. So we have to be courteous and hospi hospitable. Is she a soap fan, do you think? I do believe the Queen Mother used to watch Everdale. I can't speak for the Queen herself. I'm sure she must have watched a few episodes before she came, wasn't she? She may have caught it by accident. If she popped next door for a cup of tea, that's what usually happens. And she recognised that hat, wasn't she? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise it, I can assure you. <laughs> when we first heard about this, uh, about blowing something up for the Queen, we just thought it was a joke that was going around, and uh, Keith Richardson mentioned it, and uh, Tim Fee. Um, and then when Tim came back to me and, and said, yes, it's definitely on, and the Queen wants to press the plunger, and you know she's really in for the big stuff, and uh, I started to get really nervous then, because uh, normally we just hard wire stuff for film shoots. Um, and it's quite simple, and if, if you want to wait a bit, you've got to hold them up a bit, but it's not, not a big deal. But today, uh, my heart's never raced as much, because it was live, um, and we had to prime everything. It was all armed when the Queen arrived. Um, but I, I'm delighted with the results, and I think everybody else will be. Um, um, one of the things we had to especially try and do was to get the debris line so that there was no debris where the Queen walked. Mm -hmm. And that's worked to treat. It's almost in a straight line from the diagonal where we planned it. So it's fantastic. Edna Birch was waiting in the garden of her cottage to greet the famous visitor. And it's a big, big thing for me, really, because I'm a from a theatrical family. Five generations, and my great grandfather was the first Yorkshireman ever to be on the on the um, Royal Command performance, and the first one in 1912. What was so, his name? J.W. Rowley. Yeah. So I think um, I'm following the family footsteps really. I call that my Royal Command performance. I met the Queen, and she said that she thought I had an exciting job, and I agreed with her. Probably not as exciting as hers, but um, I certainly haven't got a car like hers. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, just as she got to me, a wasp decided to land on my nose, and it was flying around my head, and I didn't know where to swat it or what. And, but she actually commented, she said, I think I must be standing on a wasp nest here. So I think it had been chasing her down the road. But a fabulous day, never forget it. <laughs>